warm, giving person. And yeah, I don't think there'll ever be another guy like him that, that put the fear in offensive linemen like he did. I think he won some plays just out of fear alone. He's remembered tonight for his warm, caring nature off the field and his ferocious manner on the field. Tonight, players, coaches, fans, family and friends all remembering the Minister of Defense, Reggie White. The Minister of Defense passed away today, very young, at the age of 43. Right now, the cause of his death is undetermined, but a family spokesman says White's had a respiratory ailment for years. Fox 6 Sports Director Tom Pippins begins our team coverage tonight. Tom? Thank you, Kelly. A woman who was among those who went on a tour to the Holy Land with Reggie White a while back spoke today of a man who prayed over her husband who was stricken with cancer. And then he took her in his massive arms, only one of which hurled down 350. White was one of the most imposing players the NFL has ever seen. He left the game as the all-time sack leader, a record that has since been broken by Bruce Smith. In 1993, after eight seasons in Philadelphia, an incredible 124 sacks in 121 games, White was being courted by the top teams in the NFL. No one expected a rebuilding Green Bay franchise to even be a blip on his screen. Every individual, get yourself prepared. When I was in Philadelphia, the coaches used to threaten. Yeah, man, if you don't straight up, you're going to Green Bay. We're like, okay, we saw it. 1993, Reggie White was the most intimidating defensive player in the NFL and a free agent. No one expected White to give Green Bay more than a courtesy interview. Wearing a Packers uniform didn't even cross his mind. I mean, I didn't consider going to Green Bay at all. I mean, it wasn't even in my mind. I figured since I was in Detroit, I'd jump over to Green Bay, say hello, and get on out of town. White shocked the NFL when he chose to pack over the 49ers and Redskins. It was the most significant free agent move in league got, history. Green Bay wasn't the Siberia of the NFL after all. I think the other teams were shocked at the big Green Bay? I think every team was shocked at that big <laughs> Green Bay. To be able to, uh, to add a Reggie White to your team, it's hard to believe, but we did it and we're going to be better because of it. Bringing the sack to the pack. In White's first primetime game with the pack, he stopped a late rally by the Broncos, sacking John Elway on consecutive plays. The Packers win 30-27. Titletown dreams were back. The Reggie chant was born. White became the heart and soul of the pack, telling the virtues of Green Bay to free agents at the Pro Bowl, a positive force in the locker room. Defense, we got to give it to the offense. He had become more than a great football player. Reggie White was a celebrity. Reggie. Who is King Solomon? You are correct. Reggie White of Green Bay has made his appearance in the ring. Don't forget your families, ladies. With an MVP at quarterback and a fearsome force on defense, the Packers ended over two decades of frustration and were back in the Super Bowl. Reggie White made the trip to New Orleans memorable in 1997, a Super Bowl record three sacks in the win over New England. Reggie. Hello, Reggie. 1998 was the final season for Reggie in Green Bay, and he won his second Defensive Player of the Year award. A ceremony in 99 to honor Reggie at Lambeau Field reminded him how much he missed football. He came back to play one more season in Carolina in 2000. That decision delayed Reggie's entry into the Hall of Fame, denied us a chance to see him inducted this year. The Hall of Fame important to Reggie, but wouldn't define his life. The Hall of Fame would be great, but uh, I would rather be known for a man of God more than I would for a great football player. That's what I want to be known Reggie White's sudden death has left the NFL, especially the Packers organization, in shock. Lance Allen has more reaction from Green Bay. The Minister of Defense, a two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year and the most dominant defensive end of his era. And the Packers were privileged to know it for six seasons. Yeah, I don't think there'll ever be another guy like him that, that put the fear in offensive linemen like he did. I think he won some plays just out of fear alone. Strictly football, Reggie was the most dominating player to ever hit the, hit the field. In a statement released through the Packers this evening, quarterback Brett Favre says, I had the utmost respect for Reggie White as a player. He may have been the best player I've ever seen and certainly was the best I've ever played with or against. He was an integral part of the Packers' success, no question. Had it not been for Reggie, we don't make it to the Super Bowl. As the biggest free agent of 1993, Mike Holmgren and the Packers pulled out all the stops to bring Reggie into Green Bay. I left a message on his, uh, his telephone and said, uh, Reggie, this is God, go to Green Bay. The man most responsible for bringing Reggie to Green Bay, former GM Ron Wolf, says persistence paid off in 93. 
to be able to get a player of that caliber is incredible. That kind of showed everybody that we were for real. Along with Wolf, Mike Holmgren, and Brett Favre, Reggie White formed a quartet that brought the glory back to the pack. That quartet should linger in history as the ones who resurrected a franchise that people thought were in trouble. The flag here at Lambeau Field remains at half staff in memory of Reggie White. Meanwhile, the Packers plan to honor him by retiring his jersey. Reggie's number 92 would be the fifth Packer number retired all time. It could happen at next year's season opener. At Lambeau Field, Lance Allen, today's TMJ4 Sports.